Welcome back. Let's continue on. So, I now want to actually do, I actually want to use uh, a command. Um, and here's what I'm going to do. I know that if we do a search, so I know that I need to do something where I want to introduce a delay. So let's go Elm packages and let's just search for delay. By the way, there may be there may be a built-in way to do this. Uh, delay. Yes. There might be a built-in way to do this, but I thought it might be fun to actually use, you know, a package that someone's written. So, let's go over here. The name of the package is Elm Delay by Mr. Andrew McMurray. In fact, I'm going to go back just so I can copy that again. So let's go Delay, Deplay. All right, that's the key thing I want to copy to my clipboard. I want to import his package into my project. So let's go back to code and let's do an Elm. Uh, I think it's install. Do you want me to add that? Absolutely. Cool. Uh, oh, and I see that I forgot to check in my... Okay, that's all good. Um, we'll check in both at the same time. Uh, I didn't check in, you know, changes from the last video. So, uh, I did want to see this, though. Here we can see, oh, we've brought in that new package. Nice. So, what does Elm Delay do for us? Let's look at it again. Means that we can create a command, something like this. A command that says, hey, after waiting 500 milliseconds, send this message. That's kind of what we want to do. So let's go back to our, uh, let's go back to Visual Studio. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, let's start off with populating this with nothing. So we're going to initially have an empty model. So, and just for completeness, uh, let's do a make on this and just confirm that, yeah, we get nothing back. I know it's not too exciting, but baby steps. Right, so it's initially empty. Good. Now, um, our initial model is this, and the initial command that we want to do, kind of our starting point here, so we can pass in an initial command. Um, so let's do that. Let's say delay dot and it's after and we'll say 3000 because we want to make it really obvious. It's going to stick around for three seconds and then we're going to send uh, a new message. So let's call this message. I think we're not using this yet. Um, let's call it um, show loaded data. Show populated. That works for me. Ah, you gotta like how quick and precise that type checking is. It's really nice. Excellent. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna show the initial model. Then, because we're invoking this command, after uh, 3,000 milliseconds, we'll get back a message saying, hey, the update, we'll get back a message saying, show populated data. So, let's actually make a little change here. Uh, in our update, okay, our update, we're going to say this. We're going to do a case. Uh, let's say case, um, case message of, and so if the message is show populated data, then we're going to do something different. Uh, and then this is going to be our fallback. This will be the, um, if it's something else, just do this. Interestingly, I don't think we need, yeah, we've only got the one message, so <laughs> we don't really need that, but it's, yeah, it's good. Show populated data. So what's show populated data going to do? Well, 
it's uh, once again it's going to return a model uh, and then we don't need to pass another well we have to pass another command but the command that will pass is none so like end of the line that's it um, I see it's complaining here and that's probably because we don't have another option yet so yeah we can just totally get rid of that so far so good but it's not model that we want to update the model so model was you know what um, this is going to be pretty simple because we can just say hey I don't care what the previous model was when we show the populated data we're going to switch over to the populated model that's pretty easy okay well let's compile this and see if that works I think it should um, just to repeat, you know, we start off with our initial model, which is empty, but we've uh, sent a command that says, hey, after 3,000 milliseconds, send me this message, show populated data. That comes in here. When we do that, we're going to transform a model. Our trans, we're going to throw away the initial model, and we're just going to change it to the populated model. And we're also going to say command none, you know, there's no next step. Cool, I think that'll work. So when I refresh, I'm expecting a three thousand a three second delay. So refresh now. One, two, three, and there it is. Awesome. So we've just used our first command, the plumbing's in place, and now we can do some more elaborate stuff. So let's commit this as long as I'm remembering. Um, make use of browser dot element and a simple command nice okay so coming soon we're going to try to do some HTTP thank you and see you in the next video